Thousands of gallons of diesel from Duke Energy Plant in Claremont County leaking into the Ohio. This was late last night, and now the spill is heading right through the Cincinnati area. Jackie Congedo live now with a look at how it got in the river in the first place and how the city is making sure it does not affect our drinking water. Jackie. Well, Mike and Cherie, first off, the good news, the Ohio River is back open to both commercial and recreational traffic. But I'm told there is a no-wake zone in effect right now as cleanup efforts continue at four different locations, one of them being this plant here along the length of the spill. Be 24-hour operations until we feel that we've got this uh, totally recovered. And it could take days, officials say, to do that. The latest estimate between four and 5,000 gallons of diesel fuel spilled into the Ohio River late Monday night during a routine transfer from a larger tank to smaller ones here at the Beck George plant near New Richmond. Duke officials say someone left a valve open. We are accepting full responsibility for the cleanup of this incident. Uh, we care deeply about the environment and we're going to stay the course until we have all of it contained and certainly removed from the Ohio River and restore it back to its natural condition. Contractors are diverting areas of concentrated fuel to the riverbank where they're skimming and suctioning it off the surface. From the air, they're watching the 12 to 14 mile spill make its way down the Ohio. Drinking water valves remain shut. What I saw at about 1 o'clock was the leading edge of the sheen, um, kind of in the Newport area, Newport, Kentucky area, so just on the uh, upstream side of Cincinnati. At this point, I'm told about 10% of what spilled has been recovered as far as a cost to clean all of this up. Duke officials are not naming a number, but they do say at this point that they do not anticipate passing that cost along to ratepayers. Reporting live in Claremont County, Jackie Congedo, WLWT News 5. All right, Jackie, EPA officials estimating the spill will move past the Cincinnati area sometime overnight. Maybe.